Well, right now, a 12-year-old is recovering in the hospital after being shot while sitting at his grandmother's home yesterday. His grandma says she thinks about 50 rounds were fired outside her apartment window. This happened in Orlando's Pine Hills community along Pine Chase Drive yesterday. News 6's Jerry Askin spoke with this young man and his mom. Jerry, first off, he's doing okay, right? Matt and Lisa, yes, he's going to be okay. That 12-year-old boy, I tell you, is one strong kid. He spoke to me via FaceTime today uh, from his hospital bed earlier today. Again, he is going to be okay. And he's just so happy that things were not worse. How are you feeling? <laughs> There's no question. 12-year-old Javen Maldonado is a fighter, and he's so thankful he's going to be okay. He's holding up better than all of us. The usually happy rising sixth grader who enjoys playing video games and football is spending his last few days of his summer break trying to recover. He was shot Sunday in his stomach when someone opened fire outside of his grandma's Pine Hills apartment while he was sitting inside. His family says he was caught in the crossfire. I'm all right. They don't have to worry. They don't have to worry. And those are his words to his friends and his family members as he's now resting up a lot in his hospital bed. His mom and dad have been by his side ever since. For the most part, he's doing good. They said that um, he's healing up okay. Right now, sheriff's deputies aren't releasing a whole lot about the investigation, only saying it is active and ongoing and the suspects are unknown. But for now, Javen's mom is trying to be strong. You got to be strong for him. You can't let him see you weak. So you got to hold it together just for him. All this her son continues to recover days before he starts middle school. And you're hoping to get back to school soon and out of the hospital? Yes. Yeah, his parents, as you can imagine, have been here by his side. They told me he'll be here at least through Saturday. Now, at last check, no one is behind bars. So if you know anything or if you can help make an arrest, you're asked to call the Orange County Sheriff's Office right away. For now, we're live in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6.